Ooh, let the dogs out. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hello, tubers. Jeff here. Hey, I got several doggy training ideas that I think will be very useful to you folks. So we're going to continue here. Okay, what we have for a problem here today is <laughs> yeah, we have a schnauzer that will not stop barking when somebody arrives. There is a way around that. Let me show you my secret. This is the device you need to stop the barking. Now, we got a little micro switch up here in the door jam. And every time you open a door, it trips that. And you can hear the little doggy. It's not happy. Let's see if that sucker comes in here. We got this. Let's aggravate it a little more. Here it comes. Now no, watch this. Let me hold. Sage. Look at him go. He oh. <laughs> Well, tubers, that probably would have been a little more dramatic, but that problem has been cured already, so you don't really get to get the full effect on the screen here. Okay, now we're going to head to the house. I'll show you my other widget I designed. The wildlife, people. The wildlife. I'm standing in the bedroom here, and we're going to walk down the hallway. And anyway, I got the sensor turned so it don't catch us if we go to the putty box in the middle of the night. And let me show you what this guy's all about here. It's all homemade thing. Now, if you have a new vandal in your house that likes to get out of the bedroom in the middle of the night, you build one of these and what this is is a motion detector and I got the buzzer shut off switch here so it's not cackling no but this device wakes you up in the middle of the night and it'll let you know your little vandal is trying to go out and wee wee on your carpet <laughs> but in the middle of the night that will wake you up and you go get in there in the bedroom and that's what that is for Oh, I'm gonna step. The other thing about this is it's a visual aid. You you do not have to have it on uh, after a while because they know it's sitting here and they don't know what it's gonna do. So, Sage, you paying attention, buddy? <laughs> now we have our culprits here. I have our training treats. So, Jackie's got to hold that little guy there. Okay. <laughs> See him look at it? Oh, he don't know what to think about that. And after five seconds, it shuts off. They know I got more training treats. So, you got to cut the extension cord. And once again, that little spade, that's your hot. And the other one is called the neutral. Now you got to confirm which is which on the extension cord. The wire tie is what's holding that in and out of the way. So the neutral, you tie them all together. And the hot goes into your sensor here. That's a black wire. And the red is the return signal. And that comes around and then that feeds to your outlet here. And that would trigger this little narrow guy right here. And once again, the wide one is the neutral. But the little wires come out real basic. Just go to the switch, turn on your key buzzer and you can see there where you got to set that now if you're going to do one of these check the wiring diagram for the sensor you buy because sometimes the wire colors can be different and if you're not real sure about wiring or electrical maybe best to leave this idea alone that way you'll be allowed on the planet another day but anyway just thought I'd show you a little something I built here okay what I'm going to show you here is if everything's wired correctly, this will be the neutral, and you can see the meter says zero. And you go into the live one, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab onto the probe. I'm going to be the ground. Do not do this at home. But you can see how Mr. Meter 
goes up then because I am the contactor now. <laughs> and if we touch probe right to the sink, let's see what that does. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we got a real good ground. Let me lick my fingers. Okay. Mm, let me touch that. Oh, look at that. I licked my fingers and touched the sink. Look at how good it reads now. Anyway, hey, don't do this at home. Just a little trivia for you folks showing how Jeff likes to play with electricity. Oh, hey, doers. I hope this one helped you out. Stop back again soon. If you're really appreciative, throw me a like, leave a comment, and hope to see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.